Hi there, welcome to WP Matt. Here in this video, you are going to be learning about Facebook Page Review widget of Elements Kit plugin. Before you start using this widget, one thing you have to make sure by going to Elements Kit. After that, Elements and scroll down, and there you'll find Facebook Review. Make sure this one is activated. After that, click Save Changes, then scroll up and go to User Data. In here, you'll find Facebook Page Review. If you open it, there you have to put your Facebook ID and the access token. If you want to collect the access token, click refresh access token, click with your account and there you'll find your Facebook ID and the access token. Now use the same access token and the page ID then click save changes. After that open any page with Elementor page builder and from the left side search Facebook. And there you'll find Facebook review by Elements Kit. Drag and drop the widget on your page. After that, you can see an overview template. In here, you'll find your Facebook page logo, page name, and the average rating. And in the left side, you have some settings, like in the layout setting, you can select the layout type you want. By default, it will be selected overview, but you can select with reviews, and there you'll find the reviews. There is another type of layout remaining, which is this slideshow. If you select it, you'll find a carousel type of layout. Alright, after that you have the review type, they are only both and only the positive, that means you can show only the positive review or if you want to show both, by default it's selected to both. After that you have the card type, right now is box card, from here you can select bubble card. Then you have the card appearance and in the appearance by default it's selected to masonry but you can show it in a grid view or you can show it to the list view. Then you have contents. In the contents tab, you can show and hide the overview. After that, you have the thumbnail badge and top right logo. Alright, now if you want to work with the typography, font color and everything, on that time you have to go style tab and they will find all the settings. In the first setting, you will have the background type. From here, you can select any type of background you want. After that, you have padding, border and border radius. In the header color option, you can select the background color from here. Right now, I want to select the color little bit gray and there you can also work with the padding. I want to use the padding 10 pixel from all side and there you have margin and bolder. If you want to work with the thumbnail, there you can control the thumbnail size and margin top. I'll increase the thumbnail size to 64 pixel. After that you have the margin right. Using it, you can make a distance between the thumbnail and the text. There you can also work with the page name and the typography. I want to use the page color red and rating color I want to use YOLO. Alright, after that you have the star color and the review count. If you want to work with the right a review button, on that time you have to go to header button. There you can select the typography and the background color. Let's select the background color red. And the colors I'm selecting right now are for the testing purpose. There you have a lot more other settings like the review card, review your thumbnail, review your name, review your data and so on. In every tab you'll have the settings to control the padding, box size, font family, colors and so on. Here the final thing that I want to talk about is the review feedback. In here you can work with the feedbacks text color. I want to select the text color blue. And if you open the typography there you can work with the font family, font size, font weight etc. I want to use the font family open sans. And the font size I want to use is 24 pixel. And I want to increase the line height a bit. And the other settings I want to keep as it is. And if you go to the top right logo, there you can change the logo and the logo size. So this is all about the Facebook review widget of the Elements Kit plugin. Thank you for watching this video.